This video is sponsored by OWC. A few days ago, Apple officially announced its long-awaited update to the iMac. Unfortunately, those looking for that complete redesign that's been rumored for months, eh, this is not it. However, this is still an update worth talking about, and so in this video, we're gonna go over everything new with the 27-inch iMac. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Before we get into the latest 27-inch iMac details, since that's what received the largest update, Apple did a minor tweak to the iMac Pro, equipping the base configuration with the 10-core Xeon W chip, which was previously an upgrade option, and all other specs will remain the same. All right, now back to the regular 27-inch iMac. Apple updated this machine to feature a faster 10th generation Intel Core processor, next generation AMD graphics cards, up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, a higher resolution 1080p FaceTime camera, the T2 chip, higher fidelity speakers, true tone, and an extra nano texture glass option, which we'll touch on more in just a minute. The base model iMac starts at $1799 and features a 3.1 GHz 6-core 10th generation i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal SSD storage, and an important note here, Apple has removed the fusion drive options from the 27-inch iMac and has strictly gone to SSDs, which is the right move in my opinion. Now the fusion drive does still exist with the 21.5-inch iMac which did, I guess, receive another small update to the storage options, uh, which will now have a 256 SSD option over the standard one terabyte hard drive. Uh, you do still have the option to get a one terabyte fusion drive instead of the 256 gig SSD at no extra cost. But my guess is over time and with future updates, we probably won't see the fusion drives anymore. The base model 27-inch iMac also comes with the Radeon Pro 5300 graphics card, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and you do have that $500 nano texture glass option available, which we first saw when Apple introduced the Pro Display XDR as a $1,000 update. This display option is etched at the nanometer level to cut down on reflections and glare for a more matte look. Apple will also include a special polishing cloth for the nano textured iMacs, along with special cleaning instructions for the machine's display. For those of you who just purchased the standard glass, a regular microfiber cloth will work just fine. Also, for those who are curious at what a maxed out 27 inch 2020 iMac will look like, well, it's not gonna look cheap. Users can max out an iMac with a 10th gen 3.6 gigahertz processor, 128 gigs of RAM, a Radeon Pro 5700X with 16 gigabytes of memory for that graphics card specifically, and eight terabytes of SSD storage, all for the very, very low price of $87.99. Fancy high-end specs aside, users will be delighted to know that the iMac has also been updated to feature an improved webcam, something that Apple just seems to ignore in the past. The new iMac will feature a 1080p resolution FaceTime camera, new high fidelity speakers, and improved studio quality microphone array, allowing users to capture high quality audio during their FaceTime calls, voice memos, etc. Now we did see some benchmarks for this new iMac. Just this morning, we saw Geekbench scores for the entry-level model that is set to perform about 20% better in multi-core than the previous model from 2019. Although the lowest spec 27-inch 2020 iMac has an Intel Core i5 3.1 gigahertz processor, it seems to perform better than an equivalent Intel Core i5 model from 2019. This is likely thanks to the new 10th generation Intel Core processors, which Apple says offers up to 65% faster CPU performance. The 3.1 GHz iMac gave a Geekbench single core score of 1090 and a multi-core score of 5688. If you've been wanting an iMac but were holding out for a redesign, you'll unfortunately have to still wait a bit longer. How long? I have no idea. But for those who wanted a new iMac with updated internals, you can order your iMac right now over on Apple's website with machines beginning to ship next week. However, some locations have a few models available for in-store pickup as soon as today. Of course, I would love to know your thoughts on everything that I just talked about regarding the iMac down in the comments below. Are you looking to pick up one of these new hardware refresh models or are you waiting for the redesign or the silicon-based iMac potentially coming in the near future? Before we end today's video, I also want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. 
OWC offers a wide range of products for your Macs, like internal hard drives, SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. Speaking of docks, OWC has started to ship its new Thunderbolt 3 mini dock for those who need those extra ports, but in a much more portable form factor. The Thunderbolt 3 Mini offers users two HDMI ports that provide support for two displays at 4K 60Hz without impacting performance. There are also two USB Type-A ports with a single 3.0 and 2.0 option available and an Ethernet port. The Thunderbolt 3 Mini Dock also has an integrated Thunderbolt 3 cable, so that's one less thing that you have to worry about tossing in your bag when you're on the go. I highly recommend checking it out by clicking the link in the description down below for more information on this new dock or anything OWC has to offer. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.